morning everyone welcome back to a new video my name is of course Paul and we're on our way to digital splash right now this looks very zoomed in that's because I'm using the 24 to 70 uh, that's what I want to use on the show floor I'm a little tiny bit tired but I've still got plans on what I want to do so let's head down to so let's head to Bootle let's go and pick up the car park pass and let's make our way into, into Liverpool so this looks super zoomed in, I can only apologise for that. I have got the Sony with me, so for talky bits you'll probably think it's a bit different. That's because I'm going to be using the Sony for the talky bits, and the Canon for all the B-roll, and for the videos that I'm making. So let's head down there right now. What's going on everyone? So, I've actually made it back home. I've been on for a little while now as I was trying to process exactly what's gone on today. <sighs> the Digital Splash event, like what was it? It didn't make any sense. It was more, it wasn't like let me, let us show off what Sony have got, what Canon have got, what GoPro have got. It was like, let us sell you this. It wasn't like, here's, a, here's the camera, have a little look at it, have a play. It was more like have that, have that. You know, let me let me waffle down your down your ear. So you buy this camera, or you buy that tripod, or you buy the lens. You know, it was such a strange event. Like I don't know whether it's be as I was saying to people earlier on today. I don't know whether it's because I'm used to the photography show and other events, not a sales. It was like let's have a play with the camera, let's have a play with the lens, let's go here, yeah, let's go do this, let's go do that. I mean, Canon will like let me have a go at the seventy to two hundred, which I want next. They let me have a go at a thirty-five millimeter. They let me have a go at a fifty millimeter. And it wasn't pushy or nothing, but then it was almost like you know when I was giving the lens back, it was like oh you're not gonna buy. It was like it was a strange, strange show. But moving on to something that was gonna happen today, which never happened by the way, this. Right here is my GoPro Hero 5. So it says Hero 5 right there on the side of the camera. As you know, this is my one. This is the one I bought on day one. Today, I was supposed to grab hold of a Hero 6 from GoPro at the event, put my memory card and if needs be my battery into the Hero 6, take it around the show floor, take it outside, into the Albert Dock to film some time lapse, to film all kinds of other stuff. Goes to the GoPro booth, says to the guy what I was there for, and what they said to me was, ah, they never gave us a Hero 6. What GoPro have gave us is a Hero 5. What do you mean? He said, well, when we go to the head office, they give us the stuff that we're taking with us, and it's stuff that we're obviously going to sell as well. Which said to me there and then, you know, this is a sales event, it's not a let's show us what you've got, it's a case of let me sell you something as I just said before. That to me says that people in GoPro don't know the Hero 5 from the Hero 6, which kind of sort of says to you, you know, it's like, it's like phones, like the iPhone, take the iPhone for instance, the iPhone 7 looks like the iPhone 8 Plus, only apart from the glass back, and the guy even said to me, Looks wise, there's no different. It's just a little tiny bit of internal work. That's all that it is. Which obviously we knew anyway from the past videos. I went to Manfrotto and the guy there knew that I was talking to Jess. 
who is the PR relations woman from Bank Frotto. And he said to me, take a look at some of the bags, speak to Jess, you know, tell her what you've seen here today. I then went to, I think it's pronounced Sennheiser, who do the microphones, if I pronounce that wrong, don't butcher me, <laughs> but I don't know what to say. But I had a look at their microphones, their microphones are absolutely superb. So I think when I get a little tiny bit bigger and I start looking at new equipment, the Sennheiser, Sennheiser microphone will probably be the one I'll look at next. The one that looks like this that I'll put on screen right now. I was just going to show you this, but I'll put it on screen right now for you to take a look at. That microphone is something else. And I was talking to the guy who was talking to someone about the long extender microphone, the one that Peter McKinnon uses and other people use it for gaming videos and stuff. That microphone is something I'm also uh, interested in and looking at right now. But I'll probably look at something like that second hand rather than buy a brand new because it's quite expensive. I went to see Sony over my RX100 Mark IV as it's a bit bruised and battered. When I spoke to the guy he said that you might just be better cut cutting your losses so he did it for a new one. Again, sales technique but he did say there's a service centre in Wales that I could probably send it off to and get a new screen and a new body for it to stop this popping up and bringing the lens out and stuff like that a bit like that but it does it on its own it's sort of like if it bounces about in the car the lens pops up the lens pops out and the next thing it's switched on and you're kind of left with a dead battery like i am now it says battery exhausted which is why i haven't filmed anything on it for the rest of this video i'm filming on the canon as an event it, on the whole it wasn't what i was expecting it ruined the morning for me in a way that I didn't get anything done that I wanted to get done. I seen the Nitro Techman Frotto tripod head. That thing is unbelievable. Now I was meant to get one of those in for review, but I was speaking to the guy about it and he said to me they had some teething issues at the very beginning and now there's a new one due to come out. As good as the day's been, it's sort of it put a bit of a damper on it this morning. I, I will say that. Even though at the end of the day I didn't pay nothing to attend the event, the event was free if you filled in this form but I just wish they would have done more with it than what they had done plus the exhibition centre that they built onto the Echo Arena is very very small inside it's just one of those things I suppose but I don't know whether I've been spoiled by going to other events where it's bigger and they're talking to you about new stuff I mean Sony didn't even bring the RXO with them you know they bought a Mark V but like talking to the guy as well most of about the issues with the fire they, they just don't want to accept it they don't want to talk about it which you know is fully understandable but it, it's made me want to purchase some new gear anyway lens wise i want the 70 to 200 new microphone further on down the line maybe sometime next year for some better audio but then it depends what it's going to sound like when we're outdoors so maybe i'll try and get one in to do a little test on it see if it's any good gopro i'm going to stay with me hero 5 because at the end of the day it looks just like the hero 6 and it's going to be doing what i want it to do especially for the car reviews and stuff like that and looking i do want a drone i mean it's a shame dji weren't there today i did go and speak to low pro i've got obviously the low pro slingshot bag here that i keep my camera in but as you know i am looking for a backpack to attend for when i attend events and for when i go away i have got the roll along bag but i keep getting stopped at the airport because they can't see through the other layer that's in the middle but guys, I've rambled on a bit too much now in this video. I'm going to go ahead and end today's video with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you take something away from it. I apologise that the Hero 6 video won't be going live now. As that's down to GoPro not bringing a Hero 6. They only bought a Hero 5 because they thought it was a Hero 6. Tomorrow, I'm back in work. I'm on the late shift. I am going to clean all my camera gear tonight. I'm going to clean it all out. I need to record another video as well. Straight after this one. And we'll see what happens but this light has only got one bar of battery life left on it so it's going to need charging before i record that and it's currently 25 past five in the afternoon so let's go and stick this on charge let's go and get this other video recorded thanks so much for watching guys give this video a big thumbs up for me subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all tomorrow take care guys Winds southerly at about 15 with gusts of 25 miles an hour. Barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising. And no precipitation. We're about a half inch behind 
correction in half inch ahead for the year and one and fifty three hundredths behind for the for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow.